I do this, I do all of this to ensure that you wear your wedding dress for just one day and I shall be buried in mine. Look upon me. Miss Havisham is a character who is beyond reality. It's someone who has been wearing the same wedding dress for years and years because they've got a broken heart. Look on what remains of me. Miss Havisham was very famously left at the altar. Ever since then, she's lived this incredibly heartbroken life. She's only really in her 40s, but she's always depicted as a much older woman. And pretty. Indoors, no sunshine. We think she went white with the shock and the heartbreak. She adopts this child. Estella, speak. Over here, Pip. Her real aim is to raise a daughter who can break the hearts of men, and it's her way of getting revenge on the opposite sex for what has happened to her. My heart's broken, like a glass bottle. We wanted Miss Havisham to feel very human, very flawed, not just a gothic masterpiece stuffed away in a dusty room. In this one, she is also an opium addict, so quite an interesting character. You must countenance all things that give you profit and pleasure. Without concern for issues of morality. Morality is for Sunday morning. And virgins are for Christmas. Verity Hawks and her costume department are basically my way in to Miss Havisham. She said, I don't want it dusty and old, I want it rotten. She's like, brilliant. Thank you. That saved me from doing any of my own work. We kind of used mould as another form of decoration on the dress, another detail, rather than something that covered up things, something that was an added form of beauty. I kind of love the idea of these two women stuck in this house. And I felt those old houses are damp and the elements are coming in, so she would have trailed through puddles of water on the floors. And, you know, things fall apart and rot and disintegrate. The ballroom was the first set I saw, and it's just incredible in the way the mould is taking over the dress and the way the outside is coming in. There are vines and things. They're sort of becoming stuck in this world. When you see Olivia done up as Miss Havisham, she is such a kind of intimidating character. Again! Completely opposite to Olivia in real life. It's just unbelievably lovely. What that meant as an actor, I guess in tennis terms, she's playing the ball back to you. She's making your game good. I literally pinched myself thinking about it. I can't believe I'm working with her. Come with me, Pip. When you've got the luxury of having Olivia Coleman play Miss Havisham, you can subtract some things because you don't need to say them because it will be there. And you sort of go, oh, of course. That's what she is. Sick. Maybe the ones before were like too serious, too light. This one is just right. Come back here!